we recently reported in the American Journal of Transplantation um, our results of um, a, a preliminary study looking at the combination of liver transplant with a bariatric surgical procedure, a weight loss surgery called the gastric sleeve resection. We combined these two procedures in patients who did have um, basically what we would consider refractory uh, obesity or, or excess weight that they were not successful in losing prior to transplant, um, despite really working very hard at attaining weight loss prior to liver transplant. So in a selected group of patients who were unsuccessful with weight loss prior to liver transplant, um, in which their obesity was the likely component of their liver disease, we combined liver transplant with gastric sleeve resection. And we reported uh, our results in that um, series of patients. It was a small uh, series of eight patients uh, who underwent this combined procedure. And we found essentially that the procedure was um, safe and appeared to be effective, at least with uh, a short uh, one-year follow-up. It seemed to be effective in resulting in excellent weight loss, um, control of other complications of obesity such as diabetes, and we had at the one-year follow-up mark no evidence of return of uh, fat in the liver of the patients who underwent the combined surgery. We reported our um, outcomes in the patients who did not have the weight loss surgery because they were successful with weight loss in the same series, and those patients actually um, many of them did have recurrence of their obesity post-transplant, so at least in the preliminary findings, this does appear to be a potential strategy that we could employ going forward in patients with the combination of obesity and end-stage liver disease who require liver transplant. The most uh, important thing to know is that our data is preliminary. Uh, we don't have a large experience to date, um, but this is a very important area going forward, given the high incidence of obesity in the population, as well as the incidence of liver disease. Um, currently, obesity-related liver disease is one of the fastest rising indications for liver transplant, and certainly in the future, this is going to be a, a really important area to have a clear strategy for patients with this combination of obesity and end-stage liver disease. The procedure is performed um, in conjunction with the liver transplant. A patient is first um, successfully undergoes a liver transplant. If the liver allograft is, um, appears to be functioning, the patient is stable, um, we then proceed to the gastric sleeve resection, and, and that all is done at the same time. In our experience, it did not uh, noticeably increase our operative time. Um, the gastric sleeve resection is a weight loss operation that creates a small, basically a small sleeve. The stomach is converted into a small tube rather than being a larger reservoir, and this then restricts the total amount of food that a patient can take in at a certain time. Um, so it's considered a restrictive weight loss operation as opposed to the standard weight loss operation, which is a gastric bypass, which combines a small gastric pouch, a restrictive procedure, with a malabsorbed procedure. This surgery does require, um, basically it's a longer procedure with more uh, connections that need to be done, and the gastric sleeve is a simpler procedure, which is why we selected that option. And the weight loss typically would be slower in this operation, which we think would be favorable in the combined uh, operations.